Hello and welcome again to the Axe Attic. Uh, now that we've talked about picking technique, I'm going to talk about the picks themselves. Um, mainly about Dunlop picks today, because those are my preferred brand of picks. So there are the four of these. Here is James Hetfield's signature Black Fang. The Tortex 114, I believe. Purple. And as you can see, it's faded a bit because of use. The Max Grip Jazz 3, carbon fibre. And another Tortex, but 88mm, right, 0.88mm thick. And this is also quite sharp here. I think they're known as Sharpie. Um, so I'm going to go through um, the different qualities of them and compare them all. So I'll just cut to the guitar bit now. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back with the guitar. Um, this is the one I've used for the last, well, the video on, yeah, picking. The last video on picking, really. So, uh, yeah, I think I will start with the Black Fang. So, yeah, it's got quite glossy texture to it. Um, quite smooth. Um, when playing live shows, it's probably not ideal because dropping it due to sweat or whatever. But yeah, I just go through a bit of chugging, I guess. Probably nothing too technical because I can't really do that. But uh, yeah, just a bit of Metallica riffage. <laughs> Ironic for wearing a Megadeth t shirt, but uh, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> So yeah, um, as you can probably see here, it's got a bit of a contour to it. I'm not sure if you can see because of the lighting, you know, just the camera of the, used in this video. But oh yeah, you can see with that, there's a bit of contour to it. Uh, it's pretty smooth for playing actually. Um, but I'm just going to check about um, pick scraping, which is still a bit of an issue I've got at the moment when playing. You know, I can hear the, scra the scrape of the pick against the string. Not bad. Ah. Yeah, you can you can hear a bit of scrape, but that's probably due to my technique. Yeah, that's Hetfield's Black Fang in 114. Okay, that's the first one done. Now the one I looked at after that was Tortex. So yeah, um, nice flat black sort of finish. Um, all pretty straightforward actually, no contours or anything. If you can see that like there, yeah, it's completely straight. Um, there's, you know, no contour to it. Um, so, gonna have a look at the kind of uh, metal riffage with this. <laughs> Well, you know, because of being in similar, yeah, well, the same size really to as the um, black fan, you know, it's a similar feel, except for it's uh, a matte finish, so it's got better grip. Um, I think this would be more practical for playing on stage, and also, you know, due to the black fan being a bit of a bit a signature pick, it's a bit of a gimmick really. Um, but you know, both are good, good picks in my opinion. I like this one. Yeah, that's a bit childish. I like this one. Uh, let's move on. This is the 
Jazz 3 carbon fiber. Um, just going to try and get it to some kind of light level here. Yep, you can see a bit of contour on the edge. Um, you know, really good grip because of, you know, intentionally being made for grip. So that's all covered really. Um, it's quite thick. I don't actually know the thickness of it. Uh, but you can probably find that online somewhere, or if I find it, I'll put a, d a link in the description. Um, yeah, small, significantly smaller than the um, Black Fang and uh, the standard Tortex size. Um, but so I suppose it's better for maybe intricate leads. I'm, you know, not entirely sure because yeah, I'm not that great with all this stuff. But uh, let's have a go at. Uh, for whom the bell tolls chorus again. <laughs> ah. Gonna have a listen to the kind of scraping, see if there's much. I think it's, yeah, the, I messed up a bit there, sorry about that, um, but in comparison to the Black Fang, it's, it's not as much scraping. Um, now let's, I'm running out of time on the SD card here, so I'm going to have to be quite quick, but um, yeah, Sharpie, let's go. So, you know, it's the same material, same kind of texture as the um, Tortex, still flat with no contours, but a completely different shape. Um, I don't know, it's sort of a hybrid between the Tortex and Jazz, except for it's a bit bigger than a Jazz. I, yeah, let's move on. Something sounded a bit beefier to me, I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure why, I could be beefier, maybe it's a bit of a, maybe it's just me thinking that, but yeah, um, that's actually, this one's actually uh, thinner than the other one, I also have the white version of this which is 1.5mm, very thick, um, but yeah, um, the first time I found about this, found out about this pick, was actually when I saw Exodus um, and Gary Holt was being filled in for by Craig and Lum of Heathen and he passed me his pick and um, it was the same size as this, this you know, same one but with his logo stuff on it and I thought, hang on, this is a pretty cool pick so you know, I thought I might get one and yeah, I like this one um, I think I prefer it a bit to to the Black Fang and standard Tortex, and uh, oh yeah, I need to test its scraping. Let's go. Let's do this quickly. <laughs> Not as much as the other picks that I've tried, but yeah, um, the, this is uh, the end of my little video on these picks. Uh, cheers for checking this out. Goodbye from the Axe Attic.